Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, how y'all doing? Welcome to uh, my podcast. Uh, this is the first of many. Uh, and we got have a lot of content to review. Um, different subjects to talk about. So, uh, yeah, I'm here to stay. I work hard to set up my little, you know what I mean? <laughs> so we can get this work going, you feel what I'm saying? So, uh, let's do it, let's do it. The first video I want to review is the one by Kevin Samuel and this young lady um, who was basically talking about how uh, simplest, simplest it, how black women don't want to be accountable uh, that and don't want to be held accountable that, um, that you know, that, we aren't, that they aren't our women, you know what I mean? Like, they're America's women. They're, you know, they consider a lot. Of, I'm gonna say ninety. I'm gonna say I'm gonna. I'm, I want to say ninety. I'm gonna. Say, I'm, I'm. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be generous. I'm gonna say, you know, eighty-five to ninety percent. Really, you know what I'm saying? On some independent. I don't need a man. You know what I'm saying? Money has replaced man. Uh, the white man has been brought into the. I'm not gonna say the white man. I'm just gonna say the government <laughs> has been brought into the black the black families. Uh, uh, domain and it has it, it has affected the black family a lot you know what i mean and i'm not blaming it all on that but that's where it stems from and uh you know black men have to you know we have to be conscious of our, of our part that we played in it too but for the most part you know what i'm saying like what he's talking about is you know black women need to be accountable too you know what i'm saying to understand that you know um when it comes to black family, like y'all play a role in the, in the effects that have happened, the, the traumas, you know what I'm saying? And it stems from generations being, this stuff being passed down because women haven't always been like this. See what I'm saying? So that's one thing we gotta uh, keep into consideration that women haven't always been like this. You feel what I'm saying? So uh, it had to come from somewhere and it was passed down. Girl, you need to, you know, be prepared because you, you don't need no man, huh? Now it's harder for women to find a husband. It's harder for a woman to find a husband. A lot of women are going to be alone. Old and alone. It is what it is. Because they won't change. Um, you know what I mean? Certain things about themselves that, you know, men just ain't, we ain't, you know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> men are, are simple, you know what I'm saying? But that there are certain things that we just, we not. We're not it, We're not in the game for Like Nah So Yeah The reason You know I can say a lot of women Get played Is because You know what I mean Men see um, Certain traits And we're like Nah we're not dealing with that So yeah we're gonna get What we can get And if it fails It fails You know what I'm saying If we main friends Cool but At the end of the day Nah I don't see anything further You feel what I'm saying It's just it is what it is if you get mad, it's on you. But women want something more because they see something, you know what I'm saying? You know, more. But uh, anyway, I ain't going to talk you off. Uh, let's get to this video. And uh, Our black yeah. women are women. Yeah. We can't make a demand. We can't even ask you to smile. But you want us to protect you. Mm. Mm. Are you yeah, our women? No. What do you think? What do you say? By, 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 no, no. Before you answer this question, by the way you see the ethnic image of black women acting towards black men, are black women our women? Not aspirationally, by the results, by what you see. Not aspirationally, by what I see. Um, not aspirationally. I feel like... Yes, we we definitely we. No, I asked you what you see and you what what you feel, ma'am. Are you going to actually tell me by what you see, black women act like they belong to black men? They, they, we, we, you know, we need a lot of, we need a lot of mentoring. Yes, and so no, I'm, no, I'm going to no, say no, no, no. I'm, I'm <laughs> See, you already start to okay. beat boxing. See, subjective variable. See, when you ask a question, the boxers the men, they don't want to call, they don't want to hold sister to the task, so they're going to start break dancing. And yes or no, ma'am? You're a professional, right? A, 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 a healthcare professional, right? 
I am. Answer uh, but answer the question as a professional: yes or no? Do 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 black our black women look like they? Black, you heard the question three times. Are black women are? I'm gonna say. That's tough. That's tough. Because the answer is yes. The answer is yes. We belong to Like y'all, yes, y'all are for us and we black are for men, you. Black men, black men, I want you to understand. Black men, hold on, man. Black men, I want you to understand how you felt when you saw her struggling to try to get this lie out of her mouth. That is the link. <laughs> that is, the, you go back to the, no ma'am, you go back to the comment section. Go to the time of date stand. Go there and look at what the black men say. I know what I felt here. I've oh my you, God! You, no, 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 ma'am. Because I know the question I'm asking, and the answer is I can objectively say no, you're not. And I'm, mm. and I'm, and I can say it, but you don't want to admit. But we can see. If you look at what the men are saying, they're saying no. But you're still trying to tell us, yeah, we are. And the men are like, well, what, the, what world are you seeing? It's like a y'all, and you're a professional. I'm like, answer as a professional, and you're still gonna get to the point where like, well, yeah. Then, then the men, then the men don't know what they're seeing. You, so yes, we we definitely belong to you, and we we want to just improve those relationships. I feel like we just you, you know have us. a difficult. You belong to us. You belong to us. This is what you're saying. So if that's the case, then why would a black man yeah. ask a black woman to smile? Is she offended? If you belong to us, now. I disagree with being offended, but I why, but why I don't does, disagree. Why, that feel, why, do, why why okay offended whatever what why does she feel put upon? Why does she feel like it makes a demand of her? If it's just a smile, and understand a black woman who's a femininity influencer asked her femininity group who wants to be married to black men to just smile at every black man, and she was savage for months. Mm. You know this is common, man. If black women mm. truly belong to black men as you say they do, why do black women feel put upon by simply being asked to smile at black men? If, and here's the problem. If we can't have real conversations with our women, because I'm going to tell you something, man. Black men know you're lying. They know you're conflicted. Oh. Ma'am, look in the comment section. The black men know you're not being honest. And they and out and black. I think honestly, I think black men want relationships with black women more than black women want relationships with black men. Because when asked this question, you're speaking aspirationally. Men are saying, "No, you're not ours," and they can see you struggling. But you're going to find a way to rejigger this to make it make sense. And and men are saying, "You are not ours. We can't even ask you to smile at us." Okay, so. Brothers, we love you. Let me just tell you. No, just got had a beautiful no, smile. No, 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 we no, do. No. Before we get to that, we need truth. Okay. Can you honestly say that greater than 50% of the adult black females act and move as though they belong to black men? No. And I'm going to answer. Can I, can I rebuttal to that? Go ahead. I don't feel like they the majority necessarily act like they belong to any man though so it's not like we're we're ditching them but there's only one but, but, going, but, see, but you can rebuttal that man but you're only supposed to belong to one yes see that's that Absolutely. subjective variable bullshit that's not an answer man black men don't want to hear that that we don't belong because you don't expect every man to protect you when you when somebody's going upside your head you ain't asking Brad, Lee, Ahmed, Enrique protect us you asking a black man to protect you you're right so we don't you're give a shit right. if you don't feel like you belong to anybody else white women do, do white women act like they belong to white men yes yes or no do, do, do Hispanic women act like they belong to Hispanic men absolutely do Asian women act like they belong to Asian men? Definitely. Do Middle Eastern women act like they belong to Middle Eastern men? Yes. Do black women act like they belong to black men? By and large, no. But See, those... The fact that you had to even put a modifier on there 
says you are still conflicted with the reality you are seeing. There was no modifier ever before black people. No, no modifier. 100%. And see, that's the problem. And that's the problem because it is going to come down to women checking women and getting you guys straight. We cannot fix you because you have no respect for us. You only mm. respect each other. And if we can't mm. rely on educated of you and the intelligent of you and the learned of you to at least be honest, black men are sitting back saying, who the fuck can we rely on? Honestly. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. I'm saying that men can't... Black men are just asking black women to be nice to us. Mm-hmm. That's it. Just be mm-hmm. nice to us. And they can't get that in mass on a regular basis. I don't know if you ladies really understand how bad it is. Yeah. Yeah. But then when you see nope. a black girl get hit in the face with a skateboard, you want to, you want black men to check him because he shouldn't have hit her. There should be no violence. But then you ask yourself a question. Why does this black man feel so detached from this black woman? Because they can feel it. And y'all won't be honest. And it takes me asking questions this way and that way. And before I can even kind of nail the jello on the wall, and it's still, well, do you want black men to do this when it comes to talking about our, our, our obligation to you? Do you want modifiers from us when it comes to you? No, no, well, you're, you're, you ask us. some tough questions because it needs to be asked because I should not have okay. to ask the motherfucking questions. You, Becky ain't got to ask, Brad ain't got to ask it of Becky. Lee doesn't have to ask it of Maylene. Mm. Enrique doesn't have to ask it of Marisol. I knew doesn't have to ask it of pick a Middle Eastern name, but Keith has to ask it of Keisha. Somebody got to ask it. I'll take the smoke. Thank you for at least trying to be honest, man. But this is where the fuck we are. Yeah. That's why I got upset and said, no, when you go into the same old trope of black women do this because of we're mourning for our brothers. And I'm like, whoa, I know more black men who say, I ain't got to worry about the white man. I got to worry about this woman laying next to me. Mm. This is my oppressor. This is my abuser. This is the one that calls CPS and child support and the white man on me when I ain't doing what the hell she think I should be doing. This is what brings the white man into my house. Oh, God. Ask your brothers. Yeah. Yeah. All right. uh, Yeah. Thank you. So my thoughts are it's a direct uh, result of white supremacy and slavery uh, and the deliberate effort to uh, prevent black people from growing and thriving. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, And it left us so far behind. It did, without a doubt, Uh, hands down. Uh, I mean, when you think about it in all other ethnic groups, and I've witnessed this in all other ethnic groups, it definitely, it's definitely a different dynamic when it comes to the women and men, the fathers and the mothers, uh, other family, the structure. It's definitely different. Yeah, I've, I've, wist- I've witnessed. <clears throat> I've witnessed. Uh, I've seen, uh, you know, quite a few. Uh, you know, the women are different, you know. It's just how things are ran are different. But, you know, let me add, it's not any of our faults. Um, But these conversations need to be had. You know, it's kind of like therapy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Even for me, I see videos that kind of give me a self-reflection. You feel what I'm saying? Kind of make me look at them, look in the mirror at myself and how I'm doing things to correct myself. You know what I mean? My habits and my rituals and routines and things like that. But these conversations need to have to be They have to be had To open us up uh, To bring us You know To the same realistic thought patterns You have to be on the same page Have to 
and uh, you know, if, if if you want better together, you know, if we want better together, we have to be on the same same thought pattern. You know what I mean? So you know, it's just one of them things where, um, you know, how the world can can, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you get so engulfed in the world that you forget what's important. You know. Forget what's important, you know. Uh, we need money to survive, and, you know what I'm saying. Um, certain resources to, you know what I mean, sustain. And you want to take care of your family, you know what I'm saying. And you want freedom. You want the time to do what you want to do. But you can't let this money, you can't let this materialistic stuff get 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 you to the point where you know what I'm saying. Like you forget who we are, because they ain't gonna forget who we are. <laughs> um. There were several things that they did to change the way that black women viewed uh, black men, and to uh, disrupt and this, you know, dismantle the natural role in the family that black men held. Uh, proud to that point, you know what I'm saying. So uh, even before government assistance, um, you know, they at the beginning of slavery, you know what I mean, like. I think that's to, to me the beginning of slavery. Uh, when they started bringing us over here, and, and you know what I mean, having their way with our women, our children. That's when I think uh, things, uh, you know what I mean, change between black men and black women. For real, that's that's when I think it changed. Uh, even before government assistance began, you know what I'm saying. Before they offered black women help with government assistance, uh, we were dismantled. In slavery You know what I mean So I mean Just something to think about You know what I'm saying Just something to, Something to take heed to um, You know And I'm not saying All black women let me, let me say this I'm not saying All black women Play the role In the government system thing You know what I'm saying uh, You know I think Quite a few probably did it you know, based off the need to survive or being desperate or the man, you know, not being in their home and they having children. And, you know, it was unfortunate, but they took the help. You know what I'm saying? And, um, they said you either choose that or you choose the man. You feel what I'm saying? Someone like, hey, give me the money. Show me the money. Anyway, um, yeah, the family was broken down. That was one tool. One tool. That broke down the family And it was It was a good too And it still works to this day um, More people are waking up More people are waking up So you know Hopefully You know what I mean Like a lot of women understand Like you know We need to do this together Like you can't do this separately I mean we can But It's just gonna separate The black family You know what I'm saying um, You know but Yeah man Black men allow These people to murder Um Take our children and our women and have their way. Take our resources, you know. Um, check out your history. Same stuff I'm just, you know what I'm saying, coming off the head with. This is stuff I've learned that I've went back and researched. And I ain't talking about in my high school history book. Okay. I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying, online. You know, we in the information age. You know what I'm saying? So you got multiple ways of finding out. Whatever you want to find out, you, can, you ain't got to just use one source. You see what I'm saying? That was the key into them. Uh, uh, that was a key to them, you know, tearing us down. They just give us their source. Like, nah, you got multiple sources. You know what I'm saying? So take advantage of that, yo. Don't be lazy. Go get your research and understand. You know what I mean? Like, um, we're fighting against each other for, you know what I mean? Pointless reasons. You know what I'm saying? When we could just work together. As a man and a woman, and you know what I mean, like we'll be even more. Excuse me, it will be even more powerful, even more. You know what I mean, like aware of what's going on around us. You know what I'm saying. So the thing that that I think helped that help human beings out, but not only human beings, just you know what I mean, like is 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 technology. The thing that helped us out a lot is technology. This is this is gonna blow our eyes open on a lot of things. You know what I mean. So it's already doing it. You know what I'm saying. Um, you know, because we've self sabotaged our own race, and it needs to stop. It has to stop. You know, what I mean, at this point, we need to, we need to, we need to, you know, 
do better. So, um, you know, and they say, if you know better, you don't, you, you, you do better. So with the videos that's coming out, you know, people like Kevin, Sam, Kevin Samuel, um, there's a bunch of other ones I know, you know what I'm saying? But go on YouTube and check it out. It's a bunch of, it's a bunch of people in there that, you know what I'm saying? Open the doors or knocking the doors down. Um, Clubhouse, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, we need to have these, you know, these discussions. It's kind of like therapy, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you can either get it individually if you can afford it, or you can do it as a group. Go on these 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 sites and, and check it out, and it'll it'll give you some self reflection. You know what I'm saying on on what's really real and what and what ain't, like for real. You know what I'm saying? Because um, you need some understanding and, and realize what's realistically healthier for your life and the people around you. Because you can be you could you could be affecting the people around you and not even know it. And you thinking it's cool, you know what I'm saying? But you're just a narcissistic narcissistic person at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So we need to open our minds to what's really going on, what's really happening. You know, that's why it's so hard for her to admit. You know what I mean? Because a lot of women don't, they don't, you know what I mean? Like, it's a, I think it's more a control, narcissistic thing. Like, they don't want, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> The blame, it, it, it ain't even the blame, it's just being accountable for, you know what I'm saying, what's, 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 you know, what's happening, like, or what has happened, like, just be accountable, like, understand it, that way you can grow from it, you know what I'm saying, so, uh, as they say, it is the black woman's kryptonite, being accountable, no woman wants to be accountable. For real, me and we are always being dragged, y'all dogs, y'all this, y'all that, y'all that. Okay, cool. I mean, we admit to it. Yeah, it is what it is. I mean, we've made our mistakes. Um, but I think a lot of men are learning. And, and when I come across a young man, I try to teach him that. You know what I'm saying? Having a lot of women ain't the way. They wasn't the way for me. You know what I'm saying? I grew up around men that, you know what I'm saying? I had that ideology, but it just wasn't the way. Men, women and men need to learn to, you know what I'm saying? Separate, you know. Uh, yourself from from you know what I mean from the other like from everybody else that's doing some you know what I'm saying that'll get you you know what I mean in 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 in, a, in, a, in the long run in a bad situation you know what I'm saying so um, at the end of the day I'm just gonna say you know what I mean I, I'm I'm a true believer that you know and I love my black women you know what I'm saying but at this point I think that you know there's another like they're not our black women anymore. You know, and I'm gonna say, you know, uh, they they've built this "I don't need a man" mentality, and it's sad because at the end of the day, uh, you realize as bad as the female and male ratio is, as many females it is to the black male. Guess what? Men still have slim pickings. That's what we know. Every woman is not ready to be a wife just because she's a woman and she has the. Uh, female package to have a baby she's not ready to be a wife though anyway on that note thank you for watching i appreciate you checking this out and uh yeah stop by stop by more man it's coming yo hey uh if you get to the point where i'm gonna post every day it should be every, every other day from you know what i'm saying so it, you know on topics like this reviews on music reviews on just you know what i'm saying what's going on in society yeah, so stop by and get your feel And, uh, you know, like, subscribe, comment Let me know what you want to, you know what I mean, chat about You know what I'm saying, what's in your brain Let me know uh, Anyway, signing out, John Henry Harris Signing out, until later Peace out